All right, guys, I want to show you some modifications I've made to my Premier Plasma Plasma table. I've hooked up a water reservoir to eliminate the corrosion problems and the bugs. Damn, the bugs are the worst problem of all, come to find out. Disgusting and just nasty and huge amounts of them. Mosquitoes and everything. Hey, what's up, fellas? I want to show you what I did to my plasma table here the other day. This is a Premier Plasma table from Premier Plasma. When I bought this thing, I pretty much researched for a couple of months before I pulled the trigger. And this company, in my opinion, was the best choice based on that research. Two years later, I can say that was still a good decision. The customer support that I've got out of Jake, the owner of that company, is just extraordinary. This guy's got a hold of me on Sundays before and helped me get my table going when I've had problems. So definitely a good choice. Let me show you what we got going on here. Oh yeah, I love this thing. Getting ready to do some cutting. I ain't gotta worry about a bunch of dirty water full of bugs. As I said, I'm eventually gonna hook up a filter and an ozone generator to kind of sterilize that water so it doesn't get a bunch of bacteria crap growing in it. But I can definitely get used to this. I'm very impressed with that pump. I'll have to leave a link in the description for this pump because uh, that's a pretty good amount of flow and I have this thing hooked up to a rheostat. Actually, that's called a triac circuit, to be more specific. That is not a rheostat. So, it's not splashing everywhere at that rate. I could probably turn it up just a little bit. See what happens here. Yeah, those pumps are uh, fairly impressive. I will have to turn that down because what I have to do is turn off these two valves. Okay, just show you this thing running real quick. Zero everything out. I always secure my workpiece to the table. I never just throw a piece of metal on here and leave it sit. I see a lot of guys do that. In fact, every person I've ever seen run a plasma table does that. I'm not sure how they get away with it. Perhaps I don't know how to run a plasma table, but uh, I've noticed some minor um, flaws in the piece is attributed to the torch head hitting these little mountains of dross. And it just barely moves the sheet. If I unhook this, let me show you how easily this sh sheet will glide around in here. I don't know if you can see that. Just the slightest little impact of the torch tip with the dross is going to shake that sheet around on you. It doesn't cause huge inaccuracies, but it, nonetheless, if you're trying to go gnat's ass on something... You definitely want to have this thing anchored. I also don't use the clip anymore. I think this is a superior means. I noticed that my clip would sit there and smoke and sizzle sometimes. And after all, the contact points are extremely small. And it uh, just messes with the cut height. The voltage is messed with and everything. So let's turn these valves now and show you guys the best feature of this setup. Should start seeing some... Dirty water flowing out of there it goes. Wow, it makes it all the way to the other side there. Incredible. Turn the other one. <sighs> that is crazy how it, it's able to thrust all the way to the other end like that. You would think that it would not behave that way. But I'm gonna drain this table now. And uh, that does two things for me. It keeps the bugs out of this. And it keeps the table from rusting. 
I should also say it does three things. It, it, it actually filters the water through a sedimentation process. All the rust will settle to the bottom of this tank here. So next time I fill the table back up, I'll be back to having clear water like that. Next time you guys see this setup, it's gonna have a ozone generator hooked up to it so that I can infuse ozone gas into this reservoir tank periodically just to kind of kill all the bacteria in it. You don't want to be putting chlorine and stuff in this thing. Chlorine gas reacts with ultraviolet light to produce phosgene gas, a nerve gas used in World War II. So definitely also if you use brake cleaner to clean off parts you're going to weld, chlorinated brake cleaner will also produce phosgene gas when exposed to the high intensity uv light emitted from these types of flames and torches and sparks whatever you call it so there you have it we didn't really get a good dirt volcano there but uh she's draining slowly i'm definitely digging this setup no more bug soup. Nearly all that I can tell anyway of the corrosion inhibitors that you put in these tables or some of the stuff people are talking about in the forums are carcinogenic. So be careful what you do based on what you read somewhere. The um, sodium nitrite, that stuff turns into sodium nitrate eventually, which breeds bacteria growth in your tank. And I'm pretty sure it's carcinogenic. So I would avoid any of those corrosion inhibitors if I were you guys. I've had this table for like two years. And there's really no sign of it rusting through yet. Yeah, it's rusted, but uh, it's not like it's salt water. And if you don't leave the water in there all the time, you're good to go. I don't recommend leaving the water in it anyway. Just because the bugs alone... And in the winter time, it's all right. But uh, I leave this thing flooded all winter long. I've done it two winters in a row, I think. So be careful. Even that stuff you buy from Canada, that green solution, I'm almost positive it's it's carcinogenic. And the way carcinogens work when they're in liquid form, just getting it on your hands alone is sometimes enough to do the deed. Um, I didn't know that. I thought you had to ingest some of this stuff. But after doing a lot of reading and research regarding um, hexavalent chromium from oxyhydrogen torches, um, I discovered that um, the CIA used to give gifts to um, leaders in other countries, like underwear, for example, that had some carcinogenic liquid put on it. And just wearing those underwear was enough to kill the guy. So, yeah. Enough about that. Don't get me ranting about the government.